Alright, greetings guys, it's Irish here. Sorry for the delay in videos. Uh been dealing with some family stuff, so this is going to be a pretty quick one. <clears throat> so, for the last couple weeks, I have been playing with DWM. So I would show you a little bit on how to set it up a little, and my thoughts on it with uh, Gentoo. Now the nice thing about DWN is there's this use flag called saved config. So what you're going to do is, uh, let me go into my use flags here. Actually, let's do it that way. Uh, so if we do DWM here, you just put in the version number and then saved config. So what this does is when it compiles, it actually saves the the config uh, in this location. So it's saved config x11 wm, and then there it is. So it's very similar to the config dot def dot h file, I believe. So this has your basic thing. So the nice thing about this is is you make a change here and then you just re-merge DWM and it'll take effect. The downside <clears throat> is when it comes to the patching. So with the patches you have to make another um, another uh, directory in the portage uh, CD patch x11 and then DWM and then you put them there. So I have three of them. So I have uh, cycle layouts, DWM Fibonacci, and then restart. Uh, so I can restart this whole uh, the DWM. The downside with this is that uh, some of them I can't. Some of the patches I can't get to go. Uh, the main one that I would love to have is the stacker patch. Now I put the stacker in here and tried re-emerging it but it failed to compile. So what I wanted to do was do it um, wanted to do it manually but I needed to go into like the dwm.c file and add it that way but uh, under Gen2 I don't know where that is located. Um, Unless, uh, if any of you guys out there <coughs> have run DWM on Gen2 with, with or without the saved config use flag, please let me know where that is so I can do it. Other than that, I got a lot of this, uh, like um, the bar up here, from Kai Hendry. I've been watching some of his videos. I've been watching some a lot of the DWM on and stuff like that. Uh, maybe the next patch I'll try to do is to d uh, the status colors, so I can fancier this thing up. But I don't know how I feel about it because it's very similar to the awesome. I know it's the predecessor um, to DWM. Uh, it spawned off of it, forked off of it. But there was a weird feeling that I got with it. Um, I don't think it's the different layouts per se because um, I have been on Xmonad for the last several months now and it has pre-configured layouts and I don't think it's that so I don't know what it is about awesome window manager and now DWM but I have tr I tried to do do I tried to do DWM vanilla like straight up but I don't like the way that it stacks, so what I did in the config file was I have a master, two master layouts here, and then it will stack if I do it again. So I like to, so I had to increase it here so I could get my four by four, like this, because that's what I'm more uh, feel like. But, again, sometimes it will actually go back to the one master and then the stacking on the right-hand side. Um, I have tried to do 
like the monocle. So, like the. Uh, so, like this one, or even um, cycle, cycling them, like this. There's the Fibonacci. As you see here, I, I try not to use that one as much, but try to use the defaults as much as possible. But the downside to this is that in like Xmonad or even in Awesome, each, I'm sure it's in the config somewhere, but each workstation I could have different layouts, but not on DWM. So I may... Um, say no to DWM even though I like it. I think it's probably the best way to do it is with Gen 2 because it just makes perfect sense. So, but uh, yeah, I've just been, been busy with uh, family. My wife is sick right now, so this was just going to be a short video. Um, haven't been, I haven't had many ideas for videos in the last like month or so, I've ran uh, NetBSD on my desktop downstairs. However, it didn't go so well. Uh, I didn't like it as much. I was running into weird stuff. Like uh, I tried to change my shell to Z shell, um, but for whatever reason, I couldn't start X. It wouldn't. It said it couldn't find something. But if I go back to SH or any of the default shells that NetBSD or any of the BSDs comes with, it uh, it would work. So I don't know what that was about. Um, I ran Void Linux for about a, a month or a couple weeks for sure. Uh, I don't know about that one. I, it's I like the idea of Run It. It's pretty nice, but. I moved away from it, so I have to figure out if, uh, so I might just go back to Arch and just leave it. I, I feel very comfortable on Arch. I'm not going to be, uh, my biggest beef with them was the community, but I'm too busy to be in a community to begin with, so, and normally I can solve a lot of the issues myself, so I, I've been wanting to do live streams again and get uh, Retro Arch. So I can do some of my old NES games. So as I'm streaming, you can see me play and just talk about Linux or whatever subject. So that's the idea. So um, don't know uh, when the next video will be, hopefully before the end of the year, but we'll see. Uh, I still plan on doing the Linux permissions, like file permissions. Uh, probably in my next video, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I've been up to, working with, so I'm probably going to go back to Xmonad. Um, yeah, so Xmonad is my window manager of choice as of right now, so I will catch you guys in the next video.